All right, we'll be looking at multiplying decimals. <coughs> Think about decimals, let's just look about it. Say we have 0 0.5 times 2.5. What you can do is simply ignore the decimal point. So, for example, we multiply 25 times 5. So we just take the whole number part, so 5, 5, 25, 5, 2 is 10, and that 125. Now what you will do after is to count the number of decimal places, the total number of decimal places. So here we have one decimal place because after the decimal point, one number, and this, two. So starting from here, we say one, two. So this, you would have two decimal places, so the answer would be 1.5. And look at this one. See, we have 0 0.42 times 2.1. You multiply 42 by 21. So 122, 144, a 0 to all the space. 2 2 is 4, 2 4 is 8. Total that, 2 8 8. And then we count the number of decimal places. So we have 1 2 3. So 1 2 3. You can put a 0 in front of this. So that's how we multiply decimals. Let us look at another one. Do the same thing, 256 times 3, 36 is 18, 8 carry 1, 3, 5, 15, and 1, 16, 1 carry 6, 6 carry 1, 3, 2, 6, and 1, 7. Then we count the number of decimal places, 1, 2, 3, there's no one here, so we just say 1, 2, 3. So the answer would be 0 0.768. And remember, this is a fraction, right? This is less than 1. That's what a decimal means. After the decimal point, the value is less than 1. So this is a quarter, basically 1 and a quarter. This is closer to, to 1 because it's 0 0.8 and so on. All right, guys, it's a very simple procedure. You just need to know the rule. Now you guys going to do this. Leave this in the comment section. That's your activity. Thanks for watching.